Hi there, friends. I'm going to read Hats Off to Mr. Pockles for you today. It's a fun little story about a little dog and all the hats he loves. Hats Off to Mr. Pockles by Sally Lloyd-Jones and David Litchfield. Get all Mr. Pockles' wonderful hats. Hats Off to Mr. Pockles. For Mr. Pockles, going without a hat was as unthinkable as going around without any pants on. He had a hat for every occasion. An eating cornflakes hat, a having a little sit down hat, a drinking a cup of tea hat, an in the bath hat, a going to bed hat, his only sadness was that he couldn't wear all of his hats at once. There was no, one hat he never wore because it was too special and it, he was saving it for best. So there's his very best hat. Maybe it was because he was too busy with the hats to go out and meet people, or maybe it was because he was terribly shy, but whatever the reason, poor Mr. Pockles had no friends. Sometimes he was a little lonesome. But then he only had to think of his millions of hats and pop one on, and funny how wearing a hat cheers a personage up, said Mr. Pockles, until one morning when it didn't. It was hat day at the Panda Politician Club, and Mr. Pockles desperately wanted to go and show off all of his hats, but only pandas were allowed. And pandas, as everyone knows, are very black and white. Either you're a panda or you're not. So to cheer himself up, Mr. Pockles decided to go to Treat House instead and buy himself a bun. Shall I wear my jaunty hat with a friendly feather? He said thoughtfully. To his delight when he got there, Mr. Pockles found it was bun of the month day. The buns this month were taste delicious fluffy fudge bonnets. As he was waiting in line for his bun of the month, who should walk in but a panda? It is I, Lady Coco Fitz Tulip, she announced. As she sailed in the front of the line, Lady Fitz Tulip was a fourth generation San Francisco panda and very important and even had a street named after her. She was wearing the most unusual hat Mrs. Mr. Pockles had ever seen. He couldn't stop staring at it. I'm late for the hat day at the Panda Politician Club, she cried, waving an invitation around. I must start my spring in style. The shop went silent. Everyone felt depressed. They wanted to start their spring in style too, but they didn't have any hats and they weren't pandas. Meanwhile, certain baby bunnies who'd been waiting in line a long time and were feeling awfully hungry, mistook Lady Fitztulip's hat for the bun of the month and started eating it. Before everyone realized they'd eaten the bananas, the grapes were halfway through the pineapple and started on the chopsticks. My ancestral hat, Lady Fitztulip screamed. Help, help. It was too late. The ancestral hat fell to the floor, demolished. The baby, baby bunnies leaped off the hat and vanished under their mother's skirt. Whatever shall I do now, Lady Fitztulip wailed. It's hat day and I don't have a single. She crumbled into a heap. Everyone rushed around. They picked up her bag. They sat her down. Mr. Pockles gave her his bun. Most kind, 
said Lady Fitztulip. Thank you, sir. You're most welcome, madam, said Mr. Pockles. My aunt made hats, you see, she exclaimed through a mouthful of bun. Oh, how lovely, said Mr. Pockles. But they were all lost in the earthquake. Oh, how horrible, said Mr. Pockles. And now I don't have a single hat. And she began to lo loudly sob again. Everyone hung their heads. Mr. Pockles blinked. It was quite the most awful story he had ever heard. But then Mr. Pockles jumped up. It is I, Mr. Pockles, he announced. Lady Fitztulip, we haven't a moment to lose. Hold on to your hats, everyone. And even though they didn't have any hats to hold on to, there was nothing to do but follow Lady Fitztulip and Mr. Pockles all the way to Hat House. Mr. Pockles ran straight upstairs. Dear Lady Fitztulip, he said, opening a hat box. This is, it was his special hat. It was so beautiful, it made all the air go out of the room. He put it on her head and showed it to her in a mirror. Oh, she gasped, Mr. Pockles. And before Mr. Pockles knew what was happening, Lady Fitztulip picked him up and hugged him. She turned to the door. We haven't a moment to lose. She dropped Mr. Pockles. Hold on to your hats, everyone. Where were they going? To the Panda Politician Club, Lady Fitzpatrick Fitztulip cried. Everyone's eyes grew huge. Didn't I say friends of pandas are invited too? Friends, said Mr. Pockles. Yes, of course. Mr. Pockles stood there, stunned, and Lady Fitztulip chose the perfect hat for him. The room filled with cheers. Mr. Pockles looked around and laughed. Your turn, everyone, he declared. Choose your hats. And they did. Even the sun put his hat on. And so it was that Lady Fitztulip got a beautiful new hat and Mr. Pockles went to hat day with all of his hats at once, but even better with all of his new friends. Just before they entered the Panda Politician Club, Lady Fitztulip turned, raised her hat and cheered, hats off for Mr. Pockles. I hope you enjoyed hats off to Mr. Pockles and his fun way that he got some new friends. Have a great day.